except danger seem to always follow them after a bad accident. They were separated. The big brother had been hurt, and the hunters finally captured him. They put him in a cage, but when he finally escaped, he went to search for his little brother. He soon found out that the little wolf had joined a coyote cult, and he would not leave them. Suddenly, their mother showed up. After all that time, she said she came to help rescue him. They begged the coyote leader, but she would not release the little wolf. He was their idol. So they had to knock her out to escape. The wolf brothers, now reunited, followed their rogue mother far into the desert to her hideaway. Wake up, Sean. Mm. Dude, come on. What? What time is it? Get up. It's so beautiful. Check it out. So? Yeah, okay. Good call. Wow. That's amazing. I know. Is your eye okay? Yeah. It just itches. It's okay, Nano. I... Promise. Yeah. Uh, okay. I love you. No matter what happens. You hear me? Yeah. I love you too. Brothers, always. So, are you still having those bad dreams? You know, about Lisbeth? Yeah. Sometimes I feel like she's around, coming after me. It's scary. She's lucky you didn't go after her. Yeah, 
But she's still out there. Somewhere. Creeps me out. Listen. We're far away from her, okay? We're together again. Safe. Hope so. Sean. Are we criminals now? No way. We did exactly what we had to. If the cops catch us, we'll be judged for what we did. That's for sure. Yeah. I know. Well, we're almost at the border. Finally. I like it here, but we'll have to leave soon. I know. I'm sorry, Anna. Sean, I know it's been a long time. Can you tell me the rest of the wolf story? Oh. Yeah. I can tell you. <sighs> been forever since we left off. Way too long. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, thanks to their mama wolf, the wolf brothers barely escaped from the coyote cult. She led them to her secret lair, deep in the red desert. The wolf brothers rested for a while, but at some point, they'd have to continue their journey south. They were closer than ever to their father's land, but between them and their destination lied a mighty fire unicorn. <laughs> but she's nice, so they become friends. <laughs> uh, um, excuse me, who's telling the story? You are, but it's my story too, right? Yeah, that's true. Okay then, so what happens next? Uh, they, they arrive in Mexico, but the country is rampaged by goblins. Together, the wolves and the unicorn manage to slay them and become heroes. The police forgives them and all their friends come to Mexico to celebrate. <laughs> yeah, sounds pretty good and I know. Let's pack this shit up and head back to town. Gotta clean up our stuff before we leave. This place is too pretty. Ooh, sketching time. Good idea. I'm glad you can still draw after, you know. <laughs> Me too, Daniel. But if I can see it in my mind, I can still sketch anything. Hmm. Almost. We'll see about that. <laughs> Very funny. Smart ass. <laughs> I'm kidding. Hmm, pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. My back hurts a little. I'm glad we're sleeping in our bed tonight. Hey, can you draw me as a superhero? Like, striking a pose over the canyon. Hmm, I can try. Tada. Finished. Let me check it out. 
Jeez. Do I really look that evil? He looks more like a super villain. I can help. Just tell me what you want to put in there. You are the man. Every star looked the same until we used Karen's old guidebook. I swear Dad had that same book in the garage. Yeah, I think he did. Why did he never show it to us? Maybe it reminded him of Mom too much. Oh. Yeah, right. so incredible to see all those stars and planets up close. <laughs> it's like we're right there. I hope we can go watch the stars again. Mom said there's a moon eclipse coming up soon. <laughs> I'm in. This place is cool. I could just move here. Pretty useless with the crazy moonlight we had. <laughs> but it scares the coyotes away. Activate flashlight. On the way. God damn. That food was amazing. Thanks, Joanne. Let's clean up this mess. Not if it cleans up by itself. Stop. Daniel. Can't catch it, huh? No shit. Now cut it out. Jeez. You're no fun. Yep. Still need our processed sugar in this hippie desert. Yo, Captain Can, can you take these away? Sure. And no funny business. Of course not. Perfect formation. Well, let's hit the trail, cowboy. What are you doing? Dude. We don't have time to play. Come on, let's go. <sighs> okay, okay. I wish we saw more falling stars, or any. <laughs> Hey, we saw the Milky Way, dude. How cool is that? Yeah, that's true. And Mars. That was so cool Arthur and Stanley let us use the telescope. <laughs> yeah, these guys are real cool. Amazing that anything can grow out right here. Does it ever rain in the desert? Well, oh, uh, good question. Think Joanne will let me help her with her sculpture when we get back? Hell yeah, you're like the magic assistant. It's nice to be able to use my power out here, not hide it. Yeah, <laughs> Karen was right. They're all cool with it. Mom doesn't say much about my power. Why do you think? Looks like a job for our local super psychic boy. She's um, confused. Like, 
What do you mean? She's my mom. Well, you know... So, maybe you can help us get out of here? Mm, I'll try. Step back. Be super careful. <sighs> there you go. I hope it's okay. <laughs> nice, man. see what Joanne is doing. <laughs> Go for it. I have to bring back the telescope to Stanley and Arthur. Went to town for weekly supplies. Some pancakes left in the kitchen? <laughs> back soon. Daniel, you copy? Yes, I read you. 10-4. I have a pancake alert in the kitchen. Repeat, pancake alert. Whatever. Joanne has waffles. Over and out. 10-4. No flying pancakes today. <laughs> Karen has been camping in her own house since we arrived. Either Karen was desperate for a job, or she loved working with kids. Daniel's Big Ten late birthday party made him feel so happy. I do remember Karen would drown her pancakes in hot sauce. Ugh, gross. One thing Claire and Karen have in common, their love for pancakes. Man, I'm still not used to this heat out here. I had no clue there was a network of seed pirates. <sighs> Karen's a real life hacker. Karen takes on some small piece works for a living. <sighs> Must pay better than poetry. Brody's so good at describing painful situations and seeing the good into it. Yeah, I ghosted her. But so glad to see Lila's back. <sighs> Dad was an absolute fan of this movie. Huh. <laughs> Maybe they were nerds together. Ugh. 
I wish Karen didn't tell me she got a rattlesnake out of the toilet last week. <sighs> Gotta keep my eye lube handy. <sighs> Glad I don't need it as much. She changed my diapers, but it feels kind of awkward to be here. Didn't realize how much I miss Cassidy's voice and her songs. And, oh, dude. Karen letting us invade her space. After so good to have a home again. And a real bed. I'm so glad Jacob and his sister are doing okay. They deserve some peace. So cute. <laughs> Looks like Lila has some competition now. Looks like they all finally found their home. Karen looks so young and fragile on this picture. Hmm. Hard times. Karen doesn't even like to leave this place just to go shopping. Karen must have been so excited to finally hit New York. She's really good at rewriting her own life. This one's pretty intense. I think I get it. Whoa. I hope Karen sends this to Claire and Steven. Arthur and Stanley probably want their telescope back. Nice mess. <laughs> Daniel will never change. It's nice to play games with Daniel again. <laughs> Karen likes to join us too. Still can't believe she's kept it. Karen practices what she preaches. She barters with her food, not money. Excuse me, water boy. Did you remember to feed the crops? I never forget. Ask mom. But no way I could grow stuff like she can. Uh, maybe in Mexico. <laughs> oh yeah, we can grow a lot of stuff there. We could also try to be self-sufficient when we're in Mexico. Water management is kind of a big thing around here.
Dude, we could put red food coloring in the water and turn this into a blood tank. Oh, yes. Then I could be zomboy fighting vampires. Sucks that we can't get food coloring out here. Pretty smart. You're never gonna run out of sun in the desert. <laughs> Looking at this place, I see that Karen really wanted to get away from it all. <laughs> Literally. Um, more like no service anywhere. Guess people came here with ease and never left. <laughs> Joanne picks up all kinds of scraps from the desert. <laughs> she even found a boat once. I mean, it looks glorious. I love how they recycle everything into art. Construction or agriculture here. This place is the ultimate playground for Daniel. Joanne can throw a total rager out here, but without asshole neighbors. It's so cool that people want to give a second life to their stuff. David always wants to help, but he's tough to figure out. I hope the UFOs are listening. This part of town is dead this time of year. I should stay around here. Yeah. Daniel still misses Chris. Hey. Your Captain Spirit drawing... was awesome. I should bring the telescope back to Arden Stand before I forget. Morning, Sean. Morning, guys. Arthur and Stanley cannot wait for the 4th of July. <sighs> Me neither. <laughs> Look at that. I thought there was only vultures in the desert. Wish I could be as cool and as wise as these guys when I get older. We watched a French cooking show with them the other day. <laughs> Stanley is such a tech nerd. <laughs> these guys are like social directors here. I still love to party. Hey, what's up? Morning, Sean. Join us. Have a seat. Hey, just in time for our special desert brew. And dust free. Thanks. So much. Sean, it's too early to be so awake. 
No kidding. Hey, how was your sleepover in the canyon? <sighs> Amazing. We watched the sunrise. Daniel loved it too. That's my favorite view out here. It's like ancient times, but it never gets old. Unlike us, darling. That canyon will be here long after we're gone. Hope you looked up. We did. Thanks for hooking us up. <laughs> Anytime. Even my daughter Becky loves to stargaze when she visits us. That's the only way to get Arthur to camp now. Becky is the real astronomer in the family. Wonder where she got this. From her mom, probably. Hope you guys get to meet Becky. Does she come visiting often? <sighs> Not as much as I'd want. Can't really blame her. But you know, well, some parts of the year this place is full of friends and family. Christmas, for example. So, why did you come out here? Because we got tired of people's bullshit. Things change. But being gay is still dangerous. The end. Sean, I'm almost 60, and I was a happily married man for 20 years. Until I came out. I don't blame my family for being in shock. But I didn't think they disown me. My other daughters won't even talk to me anymore. So why stay? <sighs> After we got together, we both had serious breakdowns. Then we got the hell out of the Bay Area. For the better. <sighs> I hear that. I'm just so fucking tired of running. I hope me and Daniel find our own... away. You will. People come here to reset their life. Become the person they want to be, or used to be. You're smart. You'll figure out your next direction. Right, Gramps? Speak for yourself, Grandpa. My body might be 59, but I'm 25. <laughs> uh-huh. I'll remember that on the next hike. I'm going to see what Daniel's up to. Thanks for the desert brew. These two remind me of Claire and Steven. In a weird... Now that's some real patriots. Oh, not again. It's kind of cute, though. You think they picked this up at the gas station? You're a little too young to be stalking me, dude. Um, uh, you know what? I saw them kissing the other day. Kinda weird. What the fuck? You are a stalker. Knock it off. What? Just cause I know this thing doesn't mean I'm a stalker. Hey, artist, come by Joanne's place. We're making wild sculptures. <laughs> Hold up. I'll be over in a minute. <sighs> we helped Joanne set up this giant vacuum with binoculars, as David calls it. Love the energy out here, with everyone building stuff as they please. Love watching movies under the stars. Like a drive-in with no cars. Dude, remember when you totally fell asleep during that Bollywood flick? Because it was so lame after those cool cartoons. <laughs> Whatever. You missed Priya and Stanley teaching me how to dance. No, I didn't. You can't dance, dude. <laughs> Karen and Joanne spend evenings playing and chatting. <sighs> Kinda like me and Lila. Back in the day. There's power cuts all the time here. But no one's really bothered by it. 
Joanne says she needs all this junk to grow inspiration from. No matter what happened before. What's up, Joanne? See for yourself. Man, check this out. Okay, Daniel, let's take a little break. Got it. That child is something special. Yeah, I hear this one a lot. Don't worry. Mm, yeah, I bet. <laughs> but you have your own talent, Sean. I'm dead serious. <laughs> talent? Thanks. But I still have a lot to learn. Of course you do. Only dumbasses think they know everything. It's okay to not know stuff. <sighs> Don't worry so much about the outcome. An artist has to take a leap of faith about every other week. So why are you all the way out here now? <laughs> Easy. I started selling my work for good money, and as soon as I did, everyone turned into smiling sharks. Listen, if you want to be an artist, you will be. <laughs> it's not always easy, but in the end, it's pretty fucking cool. Speaking of, do you mind giving me a hand here? Oh, uh, I don't know if I can. <laughs> yes, you can. I just need your input, okay? Okay. Sure. <laughs> Why not? Ah, there you go. Now, go stand over there. Daniel, you ready to start again? Oh, yes. Hold on. So, for my next trick, I'd love to see if you can connect these three pieces. I've made a model of what I have in mind here, but go ahead and be the artist. And we don't need a crane to lift this stuff. <laughs> Daniel can snap these together like block toys. Hell yeah. Let's do this. Man. I thought my art was weird. Now, let's throw on that spider. You got it. Be careful, Daniel. Don't want you to get hurt. Maybe you should keep the same bottom piece, don't you think? Daniel. You know, every artist sees and does things differently. Hey, nope, nope, no, uh, let's take that spider off the pedestal. Watch this. <laughs> okay, Daniel. Can you slam dunk the earth ball onto the base? Do like the model, but with the spider on top. Summon the spider queen. Check it out. <laughs> hmm. Now let's move Mr. Pancake's head onto the pedestal. Sweet. I feel like we're almost done. Well, I think this is it. Looks good to me. Only if the muse approves. Not what I had in mind, but it's still cool. 
<laughs> you did a great job, Inanna. Well, Sean, Daniel, I think art might be in your family DNA. There's no escape. I think we're done for the day. Thank you so much for your help. Okay. That was fun. Joanne is so chill about her art. That's what makes her talented. I bet you would like Minecraft. It, it, it's kind of like this. Yeah, I've read about it. It's a, a video game, right? Yes, and you can build whatever you want in it. Ooh, you have to show me then. Precarious patriot, shrouded in dust. Lurid politics. Gee, you hate it. That's cool, Joanne trusted me to help oh, build her sculpture. Way down. Oh, way down. You okay, Joanne? Yeah, as fine as frogs here, sweetie. I, I like to take a good look at a piece after I'm done working on it. Uh, it helps me connect with it. Cool. Well, thanks for letting me be a part of it. Oh, thank you, Sean. See you around, hon. <sighs> this is such a weird fucking place. <sighs> but that's what's cool about it. I wish Daniel wasn't the only kid in town. This place is such a trip. It's kind of like a desert mirage. You think you can see it, but the closer you get, it changes. I thought the people here would be like freaks, but they're just sick of the bullshit. Now I sound like a local. I guess I'm always gonna be a visitor. Too beat, and I know. Whatever. Boring. I bet Hippie started this place. I'm starting to see why now. <laughs> I could get used to that scenery. Gotcha. We'll help her out with the groceries. Gotta empty that truck. Too bad there's nobody my age here. <laughs> but this is where people come to get old. Hey, good morning. 
Howdy, Sean. Hey, what's up? How was the town trip? <laughs> Hate these trips. Uh, people look at us as if we're aliens. Here come the sand people. <laughs> the deserters have returned with offerings from Das Kapital. Jolie! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed you. Next time, you're coming with us. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Looking good. What's your secret? Defying death on a daily basis. And hide rating. Oh, right. You can't forget your goodies. Hey, thanks, Angel. Here. Ah, uh, you're the man, Karen. Catch you later. Take care. Hey, so how did you guys like your night in the canyon? It was amazing. So many stars. So quiet. Good call, Karen. I knew you'd like it, Stargazer. Glad you got to see that. Hi, Mom. How was the town? Town life always sucks. <laughs> but we got something for you. Think fast. Whoa, yes! Thanks, David. <laughs> you want to play catch, Danny boy? Totally. Me and Dad always used to play. But I'm way better now. No matter what he's been through, he just wants to be a kid <laughs> and play. <laughs> yep. Daniel hasn't been like this in forever. You've all been a good influence on him. About time you boys went camping. Hope Daniel didn't get scared by all the critters. Yeah, not anymore. He's seen a lot worse. And that made him tougher. And he can defend himself. You're right. And he does like to show off. Maybe too much. <laughs> you boys have been here over a month. And I still can't get over Daniel's... <sighs> ...skills. Me neither. But I never figured it out, so I don't try anymore. Well, take it from an old soldier. But you trained him well. He's a good kid. <sighs> Thanks. I tried my best. <sighs> I guess it's reassuring. But what do I know? Never met someone with a superpower before. I try and be a good influence, but our bond is complicated. We're brothers. I don't know if I did right. Guess you never really know. Listen, raising a kid is the toughest job in the world. Trust me, combat was easier. Oh, you didn't tell me you were married. Nah, used to be. She died a few years ago. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's life. But. At least I got an angry stepdaughter in the deal. <laughs> we were like oil and water, and she was always starting shit. Guess that's hard for a kid to get a new father. Especially one like me. I just had no clue how to deal with her. Wish I did. But we eventually made our peace. Anyway, we can't go back. <sighs> nope. Thanks for talking, David. Better start my delivery now. Found some weird snacks in town. Arthur's gonna freak. <laughs> Catch you later, Sean. Oh. <sighs> okay, time out. Oh my God, I'm gonna melt. That was awesome, Mom. Now I know why they don't play baseball in the desert. You throw way better than Sean. <laughs> We're not done out here yet. Let's get this food inside before it melts. No problem. She is so cool. You think? <laughs> Joanne is so cool. Stanley's so cool. The heat is so cool. <laughs> You're way too easy, bro. Whatever. Can't help it if I like Taryn. <laughs> Just be you and I know. I'm just saying. Don't get too cozy here. This is a rest stop. I know. Oh, hey, I gotta go help Joanne with her sculptures. <laughs> Don't let me stop you. See you later, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> 